right, so I've been getting a ton of questions about how to rig a second chair on an Old Town Autopilot. Now they have a gear track system here in the back that I'm going to utilize. This is actually an Old Town chair from their Sportsman's PDL kayaks, which is the one you need in order to uh, do this addition that I have done. And then you use uh, an aftermarket product actually designed to mount lights on the tops of vehicles but we're repurposing it i'll put links to all these products below and then adding a gear track t-bolt right there and it clamps down on there with some rubber clamps it's very secure and it makes adding a second chair to an old town very easy you just line up your gear tracks and there we go there's the first one and the second one, you have to play around with the spacing on these uh, T-bolts pipes to make them fit. But once you do, it's pretty easy. And then you just lock it back to where you want it to be in place and secure it. So I usually push it back to where these rest precisely on these bars that come back on these rails on the autopilot and it'll rest there nicely. You don't even need to secure anything in here. Tighten these T-bolts down here so that the chair doesn't slide back and forth. Now it's locked in place and somebody can sit back here and have plenty of space. You can even have some storage underneath the seat if you need to. I always recommend putting the heavier person obviously in the front seat um, just to lower the center of gravity. But yeah, we'll put this out on the water and show you. All right, just a little review of the stability. It definitely makes it a little tippier than a normal autopilot having two people on here, but it's really not bad. She's leaned all the way to one side. It feels pretty good though. Everywhere I look, there's water. It's weird. When we're on a kayak, there's water all around you. She just discovered this today. I mean, whatever comes out of this space is right in the water. Yeah, don't drop anything, is what you're saying. There's no rail on the back. So we're getting a little more water penetration in the back because Sidra's a big fatty. She's been eating too many donuts. But So that's something to consider. You might want to put a mat back there so your, your kid's feet get wet. If it's cooler out or have them wear boots. So top speed with two people in the kayak is 3.5. So it's a little bit slower. But we do have some chop that we're going into and some wind. I don't think it really affects the stability. I still feels about the same. It gets a little tippy if we both lean to the right, but I mean, even if one person does that, it's tippy, you know? Squishy, back squishy. Yeah, it doesn't have the structural support that this one has. It could, it could be bad. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't have the supports on the inside. So that would be a recommendation I'd make, is to put some foam underneath from here and shove it back underneath to give that more support. That looks like a fish. Mm -hmm. How do I do what? We just, I just grab the jig and turn it sideways and they'll come off. Rotate your wrist. Rotate your wrist. There you go. Back seat, Sidra. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. It's right there below me. Swim with us. Oh yeah, it's a nice little trout. Ooh, here you come, buddy. That's a healthy looking trout. That looks kind of skinny. It's it's yeah, it's very stable. It works great. If we both lean the same direction. While we're standing, then maybe it wouldn't be a problem. It's weird because around the space, water's everywhere. So that's kind of odd to me. She doesn't have a cockpit, really. 